Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making another recipe from the cookbook Flavor, which is a new Forks Over Knives cookbook that came out around, I think, October. Um, but we're going to make something that looked really easy and simple. It sounded really good today for lunch. But it's the Greek salad with Greek or Frika, however you pronounce that green, and herbal tofu feta. Um, so Frika, or however you pronounce this, is a traditional grain of the Middle East. It's packed full of fiber and protein and is delicious. So I'm so excited that this one's going to be in our recipe today. And um, if you haven't played around with different whole grains, I totally recommend it. I found this just at my local Giant Eagle. Uh, if you go to the rice section or bean section, usually they have all these different grains from around the world. Bob's Red Mill does a really great job of having a whole bunch. So I just picked up this one right here. Um, I'll show you guys an up close look at it, but it's really simple to cook. It only took 20 minutes. It's really fast and simple and it's a different switch up to a grain you might be using. So we're going to use this in today's recipe, but we're going to get started on the herbal tofu feta first. And before I get started in the whole recipe, I'm going to do a giveaway at the very end of this video. So make sure you watch all the way to the end so you find out how you can win. There's going to be five winners for this giveaway, so it's a pretty big giveaway for us reaching 5,000 subscribers. We're really thankful and happy and just want to give back to you guys. So stay tuned to how to do that at the end. But to get onto this herbal tofu feta, so you need um, 12 ounces, 12 to 16 ounces of a packaged extra firm tofu. I have mine right here. I've already patted this dry, so this is ready to go and be cut. Um, so if you have it in your package, make sure you drain it, pat it dry, and then you're ready. You need um, half a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. You need one garlic clove around medium size that you've minced. It calls for sea salt. I put a half a tablespoon of miso. You can be the judge of whatever you want to use. Fresh ground black pepper, which we have here, and one tablespoon of finely chopped fresh dill. I just use dry dill because that's what I had. So we're gonna get ready to make the feta. So you just need to, like I said, you want to pat this dry, drain off all the liquid, get it as dry as possible. And then we're just gonna make little chunks or little squares of this for our feta. So you can cut this up however you want your feta cubes to be is how I would cut this. But I'm gonna do mine, I think like that. So I just have little tiny cubes for my feta. And I'm gonna add them to a bowl because we're gonna make this marinade and then we're gonna get to cooking it. But this is a really extremely easy recipe. It makes you feel a little bit fancy because there are some items in here I don't usually eat, so I'm pretty excited. Like, I don't have olives too often, and there are some olives in this. And same with this whole grain, I don't have that very often. I have some cucumbers and tomatoes. It's going to be a really nice, refreshing salad. She actually calls it a summer salad. And since I'm in Pittsburgh and it's like 30 degrees, I'm wishing it was summer by eating this. But I have a feeling that this will be a really big crowd pleaser and just really light and refreshing. I'm really excited to try the feta with tofu. I haven't made a feta with tofu, so and feta used to be my favorite cheese when I ate dairy. So we'll see how it compares. But this is really simple and easy. I like recipes that are quick, especially when you have a busy day or you work and you still want to be fancy. So that's why I wanted to recommend this one that we all try together. So we can go ahead and add all the rest of the marinade to our feta and or tofu. And you can see it makes quite a lot when you cut them up into little cubes. So I'm going to go ahead and add our dill. What I'm going to do with the miso is I was thinking about it and I want it to spread evenly. So I might add it with a tablespoon of water and kind of mix it up really well and then pour it over just so it applies evenly on ours. So that was half of a tablespoon of fresh lemon. I just squeezed a lemon and a half for the whole recipe so that we had enough. I'm going to put this aside for a second. Like I said, I'm going to add some water to that to just help nicely spread this. 
and for your pepper and for your salt it was really optional so you can do as much as you want or do me so like I am looks good and I'm gonna go and whisk this up with some water so you don't need a lot of water we're just putting in a little bit and kind of like whisking up with a fork until all those bigger pieces of miso are broken up so it's more of a liquid form. That way it'll just go better over the tofu. Once all of your ingredients are in here, we're just gonna mix it up with a spoon. Make sure it's all well combined so you get all that seasoning. It smells so good already. You can start smelling all that dill and lemon. It smells really, really good. I'm gonna do the next part a little bit different from our cookbook. It wants you to preheat your oven to 375 degrees, cook for 10 minutes, and then let it cool down to room temperature. I'm gonna cook this on 200 degrees. I'll let you know for the time period when it comes out, if it, you know how long. But since tofu is a high protein, high fat food, and has the glycotoxins that are released at high temperatures, I don't wanna cook this at a high heat. So if you're following my version, 200 degrees, if you follow the book, that's totally fine. Um, but I'm gonna go do this. I'll let you know what this comes out at. But it smells and looks so good. So I'm gonna go pop this into my oven and we can get started on the other part of our Greek salad. While the tofu cooked, I just cut up and arranged everything so we could just toss it in a bowl and that's it, super easy. So the tofu took around 40 minutes if you're going to cook it on that low heat. Um, you could do it like the book or my way. It equals the same goal pretty much and it smells amazing I did taste one on its own um, for me it's feta like as in it looks like feta and the texture is very similar but you know don't be expecting didn't have the sharpness that feta cheese is pretty known for so I'd be interested to play around with a couple different recipes but this is really good it's really refreshing I still would try this and make it and I'm really excited to try it inside so I've been snacking on it all at once. It's very good. All right, so to make our Greek salad, we need our half a cup of uh, paprika, or however you pronounce this grain, <laughs> um, which I have right here and I've set aside. And if you haven't played around with that grain yet, please do. It's super quick and simple and easy and delicious. So I'm just gonna break it apart because it's been sitting for a little bit while I was cutting up everything. Perfect. Yum. All right. The next thing we need is a cucumber. You can get one English cucumber, and it should be around two to three cups when you've chopped it up. I have it right here. We're just going to kind of toss and mix as we go. I love cucumbers. This gives you a nice crunch. And if you don't like anything that's in here, you know, you just don't add it or add something else but we're making it just like the cookbook for this first time. All right, so now we need two heirloom tomatoes, which you could also get a cup of cherry or grape tomatoes as well, but it needs to be a cup at the end. I have this beautiful heirloom potato, heirloom potato, heirloom tomato, um, which I've diced up right here and I'm just gonna add, but it's such a pretty color. Give that a nice, it already looks really, really good. It only has three things in it. It looks very refreshing. Okay, the next thing is one cup of a red, yellow, or orange pepper. I have a red pepper here that I've cut up. Oh my gosh, all the colors are jumping out at me right now. It's so vibrant. Because I'm spilling some on my table but it already looks so good. And we haven't even added any of the extra. And then you need about one half cup of a red onion that you've diced up. This whole thing makes around five cups, which is really nice for a large serving or to have leftovers. Okay. And now we're gonna get to, you need two tablespoons of sliced pitted olives, which is around five to six olives. This is optional. I did some green olives. I'm not a huge olive person, I don't have it too often, but I thought since we were doing Greek, I would add a little bit. But you don't have to put it in. 
it's optional. And our tofu, which I'm gonna add at the end because it's cooling down just a little bit. So I'm gonna add that at the very end. And it's optional as well. We need three tablespoons of lemon juice, which I have right here measured out. Add a nice stir. Okay, now our um, spices. We have one tablespoon of dill that I've chopped or use dry and you have half a tablespoon of dried oregano I'm a huge dill fan if you haven't seen we have a dill um, recipe as well on this channel for a sauce that we make with falafel that's really really good two tablespoons of red wine vinegar And we also need about 1 8 teaspoon of minced garlic, which I have right here. All the colors are so beautiful. Now it does say you can add sea salt and pepper to this, so I would let your guests do it you know as they like again you could put up some miso and some water whisk it a little bit till it makes kind of a liquid and then pour that on totally optional black pepper the same but I, I would just let my guests serve it the way that they like and we're gonna need our tofu now it does say that you could do the whole amount of tofu um, let it cool down it makes these beautiful color with the with the dill that's on there that you can see so I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit and give it a stir. I am really excited to try this out. Okay. All right, I'm going to dish me up some and I will show you and then we'll talk about the giveaway. But this looks like very refreshing, light, really easy to do and it smells amazing. It's colorful perfect for summer or if you're wishing you were in summer like I am currently looking at snow um, but I'm really excited to have this for lunch today so I'm gonna actually I have a little dish right here I can just go ahead and enjoy so pretty I'll show you guys um, a version of it up close after it's so good it's really light and refreshing. You can taste the lemon. All the different vegetables with the crunch and um, softness of certain ones. Mm. I don't think it needs any more salt. I would try it before you do any of that at the end. So good. You could eat this on a bed of greens as is use it as a side or a main course however you want to do it but I totally think this gets the stamp of approval and I'll be making this very soon mm. so good and yummy make sure you let me know if you make this if you try it out it is delicious okay now for the giveaway I'm giving away five people five different plant-based cookbooks those cookbooks could be the How Not to Die cookbook, it could be the Engine 2 cookbook, How to Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease cookbook. It could be a lot, It's I have a whole list of cookbooks that you can pick from. Um, if you have like every single cookbook on that list, we can like work something out where I send you something else um, around the same price point. So five winners, what do you have to do? So in my description box below, I will have a Google Forms. In the Google Forms, you'll click on it, it'll ask you for like your name, your email, and then there are five things you can do to enter. Each person can enter five times by doing all five things. There's one of like making sure you're subscribed to this channel, leaving a comment, um, sharing this channel, and now you can share this on Facebook or you know on Instagram or however you want to share it to get more people out about this channel. Um, one's to subscribe to Instagram, to sign up for our mailing list. 
lots of different ways to like our Facebook. So there are a bunch. If you don't have Facebook, let's say, you know, just don't fill out that part of the form. You can still enter, you know, with that you're subscribed to this channel and you've commented. That's already one point. So in a week, I will load up everyone into an Excel sheet, pick a winner, or pick five winners actually, and then I'll email you. If you email me back within 24 hours that, yes, I'm so excited with your address and you know what book you want, I'll give you a list of books to pick from, I will mail it to you and you're a winner. If you don't email us back within 24 hours, I'll just pick another person. So this is open internationally. If you live anywhere in the world that has an address, I will find it and ship it to you. So I'm so excited for you guys to enter. Thank you so much for being uh, a part of this community, for getting us to 5,000 subscribers. I can't wait. You know, I love sharing different recipe ideas, trying it out with you, seeing what you guys say, making a community of this, and sharing my story. So if you have not, make sure you enter that giveaway in the description box below. Like, subscribe, comment, um, share this with a friend. Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna go enjoy my awesome Greek salad with herbal feta, or herbal tofu is how I would say it. It is really yummy. You could just sit here and snack on these all day. I was I could. All right, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much. Have a great weekend. Bye. Mm -hmm.